Hi and welcome to another video of SpaceX update. SpaceX has completed a static fire test for its upcoming Falcon 9 Crew 4 mission. Currently, the Falcon 9 is vertical at the launch pad 39A, looking fine for a perfect on-time liftoff on April 23rd. But, there is a good chance that there could be a delay for this launch as the AX-1 crew is stuck at the space station. Due to bad weather at the recovery area, Axiom Space's four-member crew is still to undock from the space station which won't probably happen until Thursday night. There are no official updates from NASA, SpaceX, or the Axiom Space about the return date or splashdown timing. But this delayed return will certainly affect the launch of Crew 4, as SpaceX and NASA teams will need some time to prepare for the launch. While teams are busy waiting for AX-1 to return and on standby for Crew-4 launch, SpaceX is set to launch another batch of Starlink satellites, Group 414 tomorrow, from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This will mark SpaceX's 15th launch in the first 15 week of 2022. Moving on to Starbase, a new booster thrust puck was delivered at the launch site today morning. It was actually not known why it was delivered there, Booster 7 has already its thrust puck, and it is currently in the high bay. But Booster 8 is also at the production site. Maybe the truck guy had the wrong delivery address. So later, it was driven back to the production site. There are not many major activities going on at the launch site as there are no road closures scheduled for this week. By the way, FAA's final programmatic environmental assessment release date is just nine days away. This assessment has been delayed multiple times, but everyone hopes that this time they will publish it. A lot of people in the space community have shown anguish over the delay. If approved, SpaceX will try to launch its first-ever Starship orbital test flight as soon as possible. 